How old are you now? He's two. Two years old. Stay. No. He's two. Happy birthday to you. You gotta take off the candle so he doesn't eat them. Can't even cap to me, now you feel something Yeah, you want it a million and you show it What you want is it really that important You've been on my mind and I really can't ignore it Lil' baby, you a 10 When I'm in it, I got you going, oh I can't even Okay, y'all, I am getting ready To go to a creator event it looks like I just woke up, which isn't so far from the truth. I woke up maybe an hour ago. Well, I lied. No, I woke up a few hours ago, but finally got out of bed like an hour ago. Skincare is already done. I'm going to do my makeup for this creator event that I'm going. It's poolside, so I'm not going to do too much since I'm going to be outside sweating anyway. As I get ready, I guess I can talk about or provide y'all an update life update so chit chat while we get ready for those of you who do not know i was laid off from my corporate job about two and a half almost three months ago and since then i have been chilling if you will i have been really just enjoying the time freedom um I haven't necessarily active, been actively looking for a new role in this moment. And I'm really just trusting God to see what's next. I was working in consulting and although the layoff was a little bit like sudden, it was it was something I knew would likely happen though. And I'll provide y'all just a bit of context. So when I moved here to California, I kept my position in my company but I switched account teams and from then on like mind you I've been with this company uh, December would have made three years I had built a lot of relationships and connections on my previous account team when I was working for them in Atlanta and on this new account team it's, it was really like starting from scratch like coming in like a brand new person even though I'd been working for the company for quite a quite a long time at this point that played a role in it um, at a certain point i was only working on one project and so my hours were down in terms of utilization so that played a huge role um I, we were in the process of being like the company was acquired um sort of acquisition happened and with the change of management of like ownership really came a lot of different shifts from upper upper office, upper management, and they sent out a five year like strategic plan after the year's like surveys and reviews and whatnot. And in that, they announced layoffs would be happening. And I got that email on a Monday morning, skimmed it, didn't really pay it much mind, got my separation email later that afternoon. So I got laid off on a Monday a week before, actually a week before I went to Dubai is when I got laid off. If you haven't watched that vlog, I'm gonna tag it up here in the card so you can go ahead and watch it. But yeah, that Monday I was already like, I was already kind of checked out just thinking about the trip, getting, um, getting things done off of my to-do list. And mind you, I had actually been checked out of my role for a lot longer than that. So when the layoff came, I had actually already been applying and interviewing for other positions because I knew that consulting was not like my long-term goal. And I felt like it was time for me to move on to something else, but I was really holding on to this position because it was comfortable. I knew what I was doing. I knew, I just, I just knew what to expect. I really think God used that as an opportunity to push me out of my comfort zone and let me know like, hey, you need to move on to your next. You are going to continue to lean back into this role if I don't forcibly put you out. And it's funny because even when I was applying to jobs and interviewing and all these things, my thought process would be like, okay, well, even if I don't get this position, I still have this job. I can continue to do this. And yeah, God knew <laughs> what he was doing because I literally would have just like fallen back into what was comfortable, what I knew, and I didn't want to do that anymore. So now I'm in a space where I am just 
remaining open, listening to see what it is that God has next for me and not trying to rush the process. I know a lot of people, and I'm, I'll am i preface this by saying I am very blessed and grateful to be in a place where we don't have it all. Like we're in a decent place to where I can take this time and our household isn't suffering by me not bringing in a, a consistent like salary because I still am doing a lot of other like freelance work or user generated content and stuff like that. So that's one form of income, but in terms of like a, a, a consistent paycheck every week, that's not happening. So I'm grateful to be in a place where that can happen. But I'm also realizing the norm is to, you know, you leave the job, you take a couple of days to mourn the, the lost or whatever, and you go right into the, the field. And I know like right now the job market is trash like, and I didn't want to go through that right away without actually knowing what it is that I want to go into. So yeah, that's why I've just literally just been taking my time trying to figure it out because what is the rush? Like in my eyes, I will never have this much freedom, this much flexibility, especially once like kids eventually get um, introduced to the picture and whatnot. So I'm making the most of the situation. So that is why I'm getting ready to go. Even though I really don't want to, I actually have some editing to complete for the vlog that's coming out later this week, well, tomorrow. And yeah, even though I don't want to, I'm going to go because I don't, you never know who you're gonna meet, who you're gonna run into, so. I am looking forward to it, but also I'm just like, oh, there's so much I need to do, could be doing this week just went by so fast and I feel like I have not really been doing all that I can. Yesterday was a really good day. Yesterday was a really productive day. I did not pick up the camera at all because I was just like on go. I did a lot of cleaning. I uh, did a lot of editing, um, posted on socials, connected with folks. It was a productive day if I do say so myself. This is Estee Lauder's Future Skin Tint. I love it. Um, it's very buildable so like if you want like full coverage you could definitely reach that with this and just layer it so I'm doing a few drops and it also has SPF so there's SPF 20 in this and I'm also going to mix it with Estee Lauder's double wear stay in place foundation as well one's a little one's like my darker shade like summer shade and one's like my true true shade but I like mixing them because I think formula wise they work well they work really well together and then we just tap 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 and blend but yeah y'all i've really been enjoying this time i've been able to connect with more people i've been trying to be a really good steward of my time so pursuing more of what makes me happy what builds like my creativity so i've been more consistent with playing my keyboard ashley had been threatening to throw it away, not throw it away, but throw it in a storage closet because I haven't touched that thing in so long. But I now have more time for that. I have more time uh, for UGC. I have more time to uh, really spend decent, a good amount of time editing my vlogs and being more present on social. So I really enjoyed the time for what it is. And surprisingly, I have not gotten bored yet. So that's a plus. I'm looking forward to see what else this season brings. And yeah, I'm not gonna, I don't think I'm gonna go without a job uh, forever, but I really just wanted to go into my next thing knowing, knowing where I wanna go long-term. So for those of you who don't know, my background is in public health and I was not really using that in my previous role at all. Um, and the roles that I had been interviewing for and applying for would have used my public health background a lot more. So that's what I was really looking for, just something to challenge me, something that would use my skills that I already have and help me develop new ones too. That's what I was looking for, didn't really find it. And that's where I'm at now, who knows? Like the Lord might lead me back to go to school even though I said, like, I've been so gung-ho over these years that I'm not going back to school for my PhD. But who knows? Who knows? That might just be what is in store for me. So, 
yeah y'all that's been the journey if you have questions comments concerns drop it in the chat and it's it's crazy because things like this happen to other people and you think oh that could that wouldn't happen to me like i'm pretty secure in my job like if anything this has taught me like i knew this was possible but if anything this has really shown me that these corporations, these jobs do not care about you, your family, your livelihood, do not care about, you know, your kids and the bills you have to pay. Honestly, like they can drop you at the drop of a dime. And mind you, this wasn't just like a small like layoff or anything like that. People from all levels, from consultant all the way up to partner got let go because they wanted to save money at the end of the day. That my position and all the positions they let go of were not helping them to meet their bottom line. So keep that in mind for those of you who are afraid to job hop, for those of you who might be thinking, well, I think I owe this job my loyalty, etc. Like no stay loyal to yourself stay loyal to your family because at the end of the day these these jobs really do not care about us and don't let you be a black black woman <laughs> or a black man in a white space <laughs> let me tell you honey we would help we would support folks um other our clients in like diversity equity and inclusion work meanwhile the company has a huge diverse lack of diversity equity inclusion themselves so i always thought that was so funny like how are y'all paying them so much money to support you in this and they they're not even doing the work themselves that's my two cents anywho i just needed something to chat about while i did my makeup and that was I guess the biggest, most recent thing. Yeah, I am gainfully unemployed. And I don't know about y'all, but reduce, reuse, recycle. I have this, if I can find it, this lipstick that I use as blush. All right, so this is Buxom in Vava Plump wine me and there's still so much product in this because like i said i literally just do like one two and that's it and i do that on my cheeks for my blush to show y'all the full fit but now I'm headed to the event and it's taking me 45 minutes to get there 45 minutes mind you I have not eaten anything today so shout out to my friend Chelsea for these muffins she got me yesterday because they are holding me through they are carrying me right now I'm probably gonna stop for food before I get to this event because although I believe There'll be drinks provided. I don't think food is included, so. And I, I'm I high key, like high key regretting going, but I've already got the face together, got dressed, got ready, etc. Because I'm arriving there at like two, basically 2.30. And I plan to stay for a little while. By the time I come back, traffic's gonna be even worse because folks are getting off of work. And I still have a YouTube video to accomplish and finish. So that's my dilemma now. But I'm not going to let that stop me from having a good time, meeting new people, connecting. Because the biggest thing here is just like I'm wanting to connect to more content creators, YouTubers, etc. that are local. And this is a great event to do that. So we're going to put the social anxiety to the side and show up and meet some folks but i will catch y'all when i'm you know not driving have you ever decided halfway to your destination that you no longer wanted to go well 
long story short, that's what happened here. So I did not attend this creator event, which I don't regret whatsoever. But anywho, this will serve as the ending to this vlog. So thank y'all so much for listening to my life update. And for those of y'all also going through a season of waiting or who've recently been laid off or are looking for a new job in this very difficult job market, I wish you all the best. And of course, subscribe to my channel and stay tuned for my next video. Oh my.